Hello there, viewers, and welcome to another episode of Drives, Dives, and Cricket has taken over your lives with us here at the Frimley Phoenix. Today, the second eleven take on Frimley fourth eleven. Bass won the toss and decided to bat. Yeah, I think if we want to win the game, probably bowled into it and go. But in this heat, we're going to have a bat. It's too hot. Indeed, the dry spell had continued. First 11 wise, this week it was the turn of Rosie to saddle up his posse and duel at the okay. desert wasteland of the Bourne. Yeah, yeah. He also won the toss right, and batted. Yeah, mate, yeah. yeah? Yeah, definitely, yeah, this week. What score do you reckon you want to put on today? About the same as last week, I reckon. About 200? Yeah, two plus. Yeah, yeah. got a good batting lineup today, so, so should mate. do it. Yeah, not the strongest, but still, yeah, still strong, mate. Yeah. Still don't have to do the business and take maximum points. Good oh, more on that later. Now back to the twos. Frimley take to the field in what seems like a never ending saga. Two new inclusions to the team this week. Firstly, JD Joshy, who pounded a ball into Dan Hall Galley's neck prior to the game, unfortunately causing no damage, and notably Taddy Leal, a promising young bowler, 13 year old son of Yogi, who becomes the youngest player to play in one of our Saturday games. Enough of that, now for the first delivery from Owen Wilcox. Oh, early appeal turned down by Dan Hall Galley. Let's have a closer look. <laughs> Think Nimesh got away with one there. Well, what an excellent opening maiden over from young Owen Wilcox. And keeps piling on the pressure early doors. Sound shot, Ashy. Great way to get off the mark. Now Nimesh fires up the engine. Off he blows. and again finds the gap. Oh, he's got tempted, a low sweep and it's gone high! He's out! The first wicket falls! Yeah! Yes, viewer, I have no idea where that icon came from. It will be gone by next week, but for now, I intend to make full use out of it. Lovely square cut by newbie J Deep. Better run straight, though. Oh, he's skied that high in the air. There's a fielder under it, but he's missed it. Lost in the blistering sun. Great little pickup, and at this time, runs are hard to come by. Oh, another one high in the air. It's going to be red hot when it returns, and it's taken! Yay! Well, not the greatest start. Ashy's still there holding fort, but Nimesh and JD out very cheaply. Good! Time for some red hot yogi! Drinks and detritus. Nothing on his legs. He likes that. It's like honey for this big grizzly bear. He's already up on Flash, whose strike rate dips and dips and dips. Has to be one of the luckiest batsmen I know. I'm not sure he's even woken up yet. Bosh! Go fetch, Frimley! And another. I guess they're learning the hard way. I, uh... How village. Oh, much better. Not the cleanest, but we'll take what we can get. Three is the last thing I want to run on a day like this. Shot of choice for Ashy. One-handed pirouette. Wilcox replacing Wilson. 
and a slice of good fortune there for Ashy. Another one on his legs. Yogi gets it away. Two for his fifty. Could that be it? He's got it past the fielder. And they come back for the second. Marvellous fifty for Yogi. Fine little cutaway. Though in Wilcox not finding this spell so easy. Matt Smith on for some left arm off break. Never faced him before. Could be useful. To help our run rate, I mean. And another one. Yogi biffing it to Cafe Corner. Ha! No more running for this grizzly bear. He's had enough. Well, Ashy wants to do some more running, or skipping, dancing, not totally certain. More drinks. It's a hot box out there. How's it going, buddy? Oh, it's going all right, mate. Yeah, uh, me and Yogi are playing a brilliant partnership where he gets 100 runs and I'll have zero by the end of this partnership. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Some may enjoy watching his 27 off 84. I just cut it out. That's better. Much more positive. And the 100 partnership is up, with Yogi scoring 70 of them. Oh, and Ash finally falls! Great catch by Kappa, the wicket keeper. Yeah. And after that supportive innings of torture, we now find ourselves on 136 for 3, with only 10 overs to make a decent total. Ryan Balgamind. Let's see if he can get things moving. Oh, there's a call. Well, oh, Yogi seems game. Shy of the stumps. He's got him. Oh, no. Yogi, out for 70! Yeah. Big unit Baz to give it a biff. A partnership branded David and Goliath. Pulled away. Rebound's given him quite a shock. Lost ball. But at least the wicket keeper's taking advantage. Curious ball to play, but he got it away regardless. And another, punched away to Cafe Corner. Yep, sayonara. Has he found the gap? No, not quite. He's going to have to charge for it. That's not going to make him happy. Much easier that way. No, oh, he's not got hold of that. To mid on, takes the catch. Yeah. Well, 167 for five with five overs. Is 200 too much to ask? Well, let's see what I can do. Hmm. Well, not pretty, but got it away. Takes the risk. Wants the single. Direct hit. Ryan has to walk. Balgabine the Younger joins me. Lovely shot, Kier. One for the traditionalists. That one, not so. But in fairness to me, there's nothing behind the keeper. Uh, should have stuck to my guns. Probably would have had more success. Yeah. Three wickets in hand. It's not impossible, but unlikely. Pow! To quote the famous line from the blockbuster film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, To the trees! Done marvelously well with that one, too. Awkward little delivery. He's got it away. And that's all she wrote. Probably the worst ball in the over, but it got him. Come on, Sahil, swing the bat. 
Ah, damn it. I know. Leg got in the way. Here he is. Little Teddy Leo. First ball. What can he do? Slapped into square leg. Oh, but he's caught. Shame on that fielder. Jealousy will get you nowhere. And that there brings an end to the innings. 189 all told. A fabulous contribution from Yogi of 70 and a lengthy innings from Ash which left the rest of us the job of slugging it out. Lovely figures for Saim Ali who mopped up the tail four wickets for ten runs. How do you feel? Nice. <laughs> good striking it well? Yeah, good, good. Yeah, striking it off, doing it well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was only going to get myself out and uh, pump and dig. Now on to the first eleven. And after this well-crafted but hilarious shot of Tom the Bomb and Cam marching out onto the dusty wasteland, Adam Dukes will finally get to the news. Watch out for them gunslingers. So we're just about to go out to field. We finished batting and we've got 257 on the board, which is amazing from where we started. We started at 12 for 2 in Bikram, putting on a stellar in and he's getting 120 odd. He was so good. Really happy for him with his 100 Tom as well with his first 50 of the season. So it was a really good get, uh, performance all round from the boys. And now, yeah, we've just got to get him out, get this win, keep going. Yes, well done, Bikram. Fifth hundred for the club this year. He just keeps getting better and better. And here's what Daniel Galley had Second to say on it. <laughs> now back to our game. And Taddy Leal marking his run-up. No, oh, sorry, it's Ryan Balgabind. It's a height thing. You see what I mean. Here we go. And it's me opening the bowling. And a typical start for this frustrating season. They needed 190, now 189. Oh, well, that's a close one. Not given. Well, let's have a look at the slow-mo. I don't know. Thoughts on the Instagram page, please. Or in the comments below. Oh, that picked up. Dan Hall Galley from the netball court and car park end. Oh, Maynard's hit that high in the air. He's walking. No! Dropped by Kian Balgabind. Happens to the best fielders. What a shame. There's an appeal. Close one. In he comes. Camera cuts out. Oh, and high in the air, and Nimesh caught it. Yeah! A brilliant take. Oh, my God. You think, umpire? Ah, too full. First three overs have been fine. Now it's all going to pot. Oh, a little break I think is needed. Bit of recuperation. Dan, however, continues to fire. The umpire does not. Ryan Balgabine comes on. Oh, excuse me, Taddy Leal. In his first spell for the second eleven. Oh, what a start! And they've got used to Dan now, dropping his length a little. In the air, heading to Nimesh! Oh, not this time! A bit of a sitter, and it's gone down. Now finds the gap on the offside. No luck here. Or oh, straying down the leg side. These two putting pressure on the Phoenix. Oh, ho, ho, what a comeback. Oh, a floater. Not where he intended. A little nick away. Making up for those 46 deliveries he's faced. Kurtzer, though, punishing every ball. Ho ho ho! Caught him fishing. Oh, 
Oh, what a delivery, Teddy! Looked like a full banger, but dropped at the end. Perfect Yorker! Yeah! Well, Frimley's progression had been good. They're now 62 for 2. First senior wicket for Teddy Leal. Antrix. Change of building at the far end. Ryan Belgabine, second delivery. Got him! Keith Maynard's long stand comes to an end. Yeah! Oh, wicket keeper Kappa batters the youngster. Heartless. A great spell from Teddy comes to the end. Now for the unit, Baz. Oh no one appeal, early doors. Turn down once again. Too short that time, and dispatched. War! Proper bit of agriculture. Not completely controlled, but it's gone away. Much better timed. Another full bunger. High in the air. It's a tricky one. Ash has got it. Catch of the day. Yeah. -ha! Well, Frimley reach a hundred, but every partnership that's built is suddenly stopped in its tracks. Well, he found the gap. I just wonder what Ian Bell's comments would be on that shot. Finds the gap, and another one down! Interesting shot. Yeehaw! <laughs> Such a graceful slide. A lost ball. Good to see Nimesh's concern. Ah, missed the straight one. Oh, a high one. Can Yogi get to it? No, Dan maybe. Ah, drops between the fielders. In the air, Taddy goes for it. Ah, oh, what a stop. Not a catch, but a fantastic effort by the 13-year-old. And clearly there's some concern. All the players marching over to support him. And there's Dad, last to the party. I'm sure he's concerned. The lad braved it out, and he's good to continue. Cracking delivery. No, not decapitation. More drinks. Up and away! Oh, I got a brand new combine harvester. And he's gone! Great take by Yogi. E.R. Well, after Farmer Ashworth made his way off for a miraculous 38, the game is in the balance, Frimley on 146 for 6. Another hacker, Zaim Ali this time, and that goes for a boundary. Can I get a yee-haw? Yee-haw! <laughs> Drop by Sir Hill, not quite close enough. Oh, that's connected, and that's gone. Oh, that's a high one. Fielder under it. Dan or Galley, he only ever takes catches off his own bowling. Yeah. Here he is, back on for a bit of death bowling. Oh, clouted down the ground. Fifteen needed. Sorry, Dan. Got what it deserved. Three to win. And a fine clout down the ground by Ben Beers Baker. Superb innings from him. And Frimley 4th 11 take the third match against the second 11. Congratulations to Frimley. Contributions all the way down. Bowling-wise, Ryan Balgerbind had the finest figures, 3 for 31 off his 9 overs, but special mention to Taddy Leal for his marvellous spell. But unfortunately, another loss for the second 11. The first 11 had better luck, winning over second place the Bourne by 101 runs. Dads who were interested, credible figures for all the bowlers. And still topping the table, rocketing into the distance, but the second 11, after a series of close losses, now languishing down in sixth position. 
Thanks very much for watching. Join us again next week. See you next time!